friends, welcome back to 4F Beauty. Um, for the first time in four days, the post has arrived. And I had some deliveries. So I've got a little bit of mini haul for you. I'm also, from this uh, little mini haul, I'm going to be doing a foundation review. But the most exciting thing, and the thing that I'm going to be doing a foundation review on, Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. Happy days! I am now going to take all of this makeup off and start afresh. Don't go away now. Hi, I'm back. As you can see, taking all makeup off, I've moisturised. I'm just going to use this. Lip scrub. Oh. It tastes so good. I oh, know. I made a sugar. It's bad for you. I don't care. Fair skinned. Fat. 40 plus. Fabulous. So that's that. A little bit of nipple cream. Because whenever you exfoliate, you should always moisturise. This, um, my little star one, is uh, suitable for vegetarians, uh, cruelty free, it's got a little bunny on the back, made in the Netherlands, just Dutch, yeah. Okay. Let's see you in a wee bit. Alright, I've squeezed about as much as I can out of my old tubes, I need to start a fresh one. Uh, as you know... See, I love this. Uh, you always get the, um, the hygiene tab on them. As you'll know if you've seen any of my other videos, whoa! Squeezed way too much out. Um, see if I can squidge some back in while I'm talking. To you. This is making an absolute mess. Um, because of my issues with chronic pain and ooh, side effects from medication that I take to try and help with the chronic pain I suffer an awful lot with sweaty face so trying to keep makeup on is a nightmare um, yeah, I've definitely squeezed out way too much and it's not going back in the tube Waste that little bit. I say little bit. Look, I put that on. Foundation will just go straight off again. Now, um, I used to put another primer on over the top of this when I first started using it. And then one morning, I either forgot or ran out of primer or something. And it turned out this is actually. One of the best primers I've used. It leaves your skin ever so slightly tacky. Cleaning my hands up on a makeup wipe. Leaves your hands ever so slightly tacky. So your foundation sticks. Now, the foundation that we are reviewing today is the Revolution Fast Base. Now I've gone for shade F2 because I made the mistake with Fenty of going for the lightest and wasn't good folks so I'm really hoping this is the right shade but even if it isn't let's see how much we get shall we do you know what for five quid that's actually a fair amount of foundation it, it's certainly comparable to tart foundation stick foundation that I've got um, the hourglass 
not that I've ever had the hourglass stick foundation, but when I've seen people sort of wind that up, it looks to be about the same. Apparently, this is meant to go on super quick and super easy. And I'm going to use a kabuki brush to spread it out with. So let's see just how quick and how easy this is. And whether I've chosen the right colour. Wow, it's super creamy. Oh, it is soft. It's like it's like butter. Wow. Oh, good lord! Look, I'm, just to show you, that's how much that application has used. Just to give you a rough idea of how long the foundation should last you. At the start. out. Well, we're not lying about it being fast. And actually, pushing it around is doing better than, than stippling was. Where it's so creamy, I'd be interested to see how this copes on my nose, which repels foundation. Like a virgin of an orgy. Wow. <laughs> okay. That... That, that really was quick. Wow. Uh, I I am genuine, genuinely shocked. Uh, so let, let's go in with the Revolution Conceal and Define in C1. I don't do those huge triangles, as you know. It's not necessary. Waste concealer goes cakey if you're older than 22. Don't need it. That foundation brush just to see how this spreads out. I mean, as they're by the same company, you would imagine that, yeah, they are, they're working lovely together. Sorry, I'm hiccuping because I had to. Some of my fizzy drink a moment ago. I don't use an eyelid primer. I found that using concealer works just fine for me. If your eyelids are particularly oily, you may find that a primer, um, an anti-oil primer could be useful. But, I mean, as you saw, I actually put my my well, facial antiperspirant that I use as a primer over my eyes as well and I find that that combined with concealer holds it all in so it's quite a it's quite a dewy finish which I have to admit worries me because oily combo skin dewy foundations are not always a good match however um, I will uh, continue on and chuck some makeup on over the top of this and do the usual check-ins. I'll try and get two check-ins in again for you uh, so we can see how this wears. Don't go anywhere. See you in a minute. Oh, I didn't do my song. Or did I? I don't think I did. Are you going to sing it with me? When will I... Be YouTube famous. How could I forget? It was the excitement of that Jeffree Star mirror, that's what did it. Alright, don't go anywhere. Hello! See? Instant. Magician it is that I am now. So, what do I think so far on this Revolution Fast Base? 
it's fast, it's a base, it's dewy. So far so good. Um, it's gone on really, really well. Really, really gone very quickly. Very easy to blend out. I do worry where I've got oily combo skin though. The last dewy foundation I tried really struggled to get past four or five hours. So I'll be interesting to see how that copes. Because obviously the only thing I'm going to be topping up during the day is going to be my lippy. Which by the way I absolutely adore. It's, these are super creamy and, and, and no streaking and so lightweight. So, But you're going to have to watch my haul video to see what I think. This. This. And this and this. All right, I'll see you again at the first check in. Uh, what time is it now? It's about half past one now, so it must have been. It's about, I suppose, quarter past half past twelve that the foundation was on by. So we'll we'll call half past twelve the check in, and we'll see. See you soon. Hi guys, check in number one. It is now six o'clock in the evening. So it's been on, what, five and a half hours now? Let's zoom in, see how it's doing. Oh, this is the bit I hate, the close up. Um, yeah, it's not. It's caking a little bit in that deep frown line there. Um, ouch. Clunked my elbow. Not too dry under my eyes, but... Mm. Oh yeah, it's really caking around my nose. Look at that. Really not good at all. Not settling in the smile lines. I'm starting to go a wee bit patchy. Oh gosh, look at that there. Look. It's like a patchwork quilt. And coming off my chin, so yeah. Um I'm not holding out much hope for this at the final check in tonight because it's already looking really quite scrappy. Uh, this is the problem that I have with dewy foundations and oily combo skin. The areas of my face that are dry, so down here, and my under eyes, not too bad. Areas where I produce oil during the day, it's just repelling the foundation like oil and water, basically. Um, to be quite, quite honest, it's, it's, it's what I expected really from a dewy foundation, but it's a new foundation out. It's a very uh, cost friendly one being five quid. Uh, it's got a good shade range, so I owe it to you to cover it on my channel, even if it doesn't work too well on my skin. Right, husband's just arrived home. I need to get the food on, which I think tonight will be... Ooh, cheese and caramelised onion linguine. Sounds exciting to me, darling. In that case, it's time for me to go and be a wife and start cooking. <laughs> See you at tonight's check-in. Subscribe button's still there if you haven't pressed it yet. See you soon. Hi, welcome back. It's time for the final check-in. quite enough of that. Alright. It is coming up half ten. So this has been on about ten hours. Ooh. Really don't want to do this check-in. But my channel is all about honesty and oh, I honestly look awful. Why don't you why don't you come a bit closer and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we've, we've got settling and splitting and again, look, look, 
Nobody needs their wrinkles emphasised. I mean, come on now. No foundation at all. Have you ever seen my nose? Look, this awful. Look at the patchiness. I mean, just... This is not a happy bummer. Even under my eyes, I just... Look. I just... Oh. Uh, the, the lipstick disappeared with the linguine earlier, but... Look, there's... Absolutely no. I've got a chin that's glowing like Rudolph on Christmas Eve. This is by far the absolute worst foundation I have used in a very long time. coming right back out because it's not fair to subject you to, to how bad this looks. So, what are my thoughts on the Makeup Revolution Fast Base? Fast Base. Fast wear off time too. If you've got even the slightest bit of oils in your skin, if you are oily, oily combo, even if you're like normal skin but maybe get a wee or don't know just don't even go there I'm sorry I mean I love tan beauty them you know I had two of their palettes I had three of their palettes in my top five drugstore eyeshadow palettes love their blusher this love this this Where's my bin? <sighs> if you've got super dry skin, maybe give it a go. It's only a fiver. If you've got oily skin, don't even touch it with somebody else's barge pole. I'm sorry guys, this is not how I wanted this video to end. I really wanted to sing this praises of this £5 foundation. But in all honesty, I, I can't recommend a foundation to you that looks this bad. Um, it was... It was looking worse after five hours than the L'Oreal Pro Glow did after ten. Um, I... Maybe if it wasn't a dewy formula, maybe it'd last a bit longer, but then if it wasn't a dewy formula, it wouldn't spread out as easy. They wouldn't be able to call it fast base. Need more finessing into the skin. Either way, I'm not going to be using it again. Well, unless I'm doing a, I'm doing a Halloween tutorial maybe where it's only going to be on my face for the length of the tutorial and I can take it back off again rather than wasting my good foundations because to be quite honest with my skin that's all this is good for I really hope that doesn't disappoint you too much um, there's going to be a lot of other foundation reviews on my channel I've got, I've got about 50 different foundations a uh, mixture of high end and drugstore in my quest to find my holy grail that one, I ain't know what is holy grail. Alright, I'm, um, what's left of it on my face, I'm going to take off. I'm going to give this tea tree cream a go on my oiliest spots where I tend to get breakouts. And I'm going to use this after inked moisturiser. To moisturize my face once this crap is off of it. Oh, I'm sorry, Tan Beauty. I really want to. I ain't gonna get no sponsorship from them, am I? Oh, lordy. Okay. 
on that sadly not very positive note I hope it was helpful I hope it was informative um, does it work for you have you got dry skin if it does then you know do please let me know in the comments so that other people that follow this know whether it's whether it's worth spending the money on um, on that note I'm going to bid you all a very good night, good day, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are, whatever time zone you're in, whatever time of day you're watching this. Speak to you soon. I, there are no more words. Just... Bye for now.